Sometimes history finds you in the most unexpected ways. This is what happened to Albert Perry, an African-American man in South Carolina. He decided to trace his roots, sending his DNA to a lab. What he found was more than just personal history, it was world history. His Y chromosome didn't match any known category, it was unique, an outlier, something never seen before. This wasn't just a new branch on the human family tree, it looked like a whole new root. Imagine a lab technician staring at baffling data. Albert Perry's sample suggested a lineage that diverged from other human lines incredibly early. So early, it challenged everything we thought we knew about Y chromosomal Adam. Perry's Y chromosome seemed to predate him. This discovery sent ripples through the scientific community. It wasn't just Albert Perry's story anymore, it became humanity's story. A story of deep, ancient African roots and diversity we had not imagined. It reminded us that our understanding of human evolution is always a work in progress. There are always more secrets hidden in our genes, waiting to be found. Albert Perry opened a new door to our past. Let's talk about this Y chromosome. It's passed down from father to son, carrying a story of male lineage. Most Y chromosomes fall into known groups called haplogroups. Albert Perry's Y chromosome didn't fit, it was off the charts. Researchers designated this new lineage A00. The A signifies very old African lineages but the 00 set it apart. It was older than A0, already considered ancient. This A00 lineage had unique mutations over an immense span of time. These mutations told a story of separation and isolation from other human populations. Initial estimates placed its divergence at around 338,000 years ago. This was a bombshell, suggesting a paternal line that split off before our species appeared in the fossil record. Michael Hammer, a geneticist, confirmed the uniqueness of Perry's Y chromosome. A 00 was a relic, a surviving line from the dawn of humankind. It was a living piece of our deepest African heritage. A single individual's DNA test revealed a profound story. To understand the impact of a 00, we need to talk about Y chromosomal Adam. He is the most recent common ancestor from whom all living men inherited their Y chromosome. Scientists had estimated Y chromosomal Adam lived around 60,000 to 140,000 years ago. Albert Perry's a 00 lineage threw a wrench in these calculations. If a 00 diverged 338,000 years ago, then the common ancestor of all men must be at least that old. This meant Y chromosomal Adam was much older than previously believed. The entire timeline of our paternal ancestry had to be re-evaluated. It was like discovering your great-great-grandfather was actually your great-great-great-great-grandfather. The family tree suddenly got much deeper. This wasn't just a minor adjustment, it was a significant shift. It suggested that the diversity within human Y chromosomes was greater than we knew. It implied that ancient human populations in Africa were more structured and diverse, perhaps with groups that remained relatively isolated for long periods. These groups preserved ancient genetic signals like A00. The discovery of A00 forced a recalibration. It made scientists look again at their models. How did such an ancient lineage survive? How did it remain undetected for so long? It highlighted the importance of sampling diverse populations, especially within Africa. The continent is the cradle of humanity, holding the greatest genetic diversity. The story of Y chromosomal Adam was not over, it was just getting more interesting. What exactly is a genetic outgroup and why is it so important? Think of building a family tree. To understand how everyone is related, you sometimes need a distant cousin. This distant cousin helps you root the tree correctly. In genetics, this distant relative is called an outgroup. It's a lineage known to be less closely related to the groups you are studying. Outgroups are crucial for phylogenetic analysis, the study of evolutionary relationships. An outgroup helps to determine the direction of evolution. It shows which traits are ancestral and which are derived. Without a good outgroup, it's hard to get the branching order right. Albert Perry's A00 lineage became an incredibly important outgroup for the human Y chromosome tree. Before A00, the oldest known lineages were A0 and A1. But A00 was even deeper, branching off before all other known Y chromosome lineages. This made it the ultimate outgroup, providing a new, more ancient anchor point for the entire tree of human paternal ancestry. It helped to clarify the relationships between all other Y haplogroups. By rooting the tree with A00, 
we get a clearer picture of early human migrations. A zero zero doesn't just tell us about Albert Perry's ancestors, it tells us something fundamental about the journey of all humankind. It sharpens our focus on those earliest days. Why Perry's Lineage Matters, A New Route for Humanity The discovery of a zero zero fundamentally changed our understanding of human origins. It provided a new route for the Y-chromosome phylogenetic tree. Perry's lineage showed that this map was incomplete. We had missed a major, ancient part of the story. His DNA was a living link to a population that had been genetically distinct for an immense period. This new route suggests our species' history is more complex than we thought. It wasn't a simple, linear progression. Instead, it was likely a tapestry of diverse populations. Some of these populations may have been isolated for long stretches. Others might have interbred. The A00 lineage is evidence of this deep, ancient diversity within Africa. It shows that modern humans didn't just spring forth fully formed. There was a long period of development and variation. For a long time, the narrative was simpler. Y chromosomal Adam lived and his descendants spread. But a 00 shows us there were other lines that branched off much earlier. This raises fascinating questions about who these people were and how their lineage survived for over 300,000 years. Perry's lineage isn't just his own, it belongs to all of us. It enriches our collective human story. From South Carolina to Cameroon finding a 00's relatives. Albert Perry's A00 lineage was initially a singleton, but scientists knew that such an ancient line was unlikely to have survived in just one individual. The search began. Researchers scoured genetic databases, they looked for other men who might carry this rare paternal signature. The quest led them back to Africa, specifically to Western Cameroon. There, among the Embo people and other nearby groups, they found them. Men whose Y chromosomes matched, or were very closely related to, Albert Perry's A00 lineage. This was a breakthrough. It confirmed that A00 was not an anomaly. It was a real, surviving lineage with a geographical home. Western Cameroon appeared to be a reservoir for this ancient genetic heritage. The connection between an African-American man in South Carolina and the Embo people of Cameroon is a powerful one. It speaks to the enduring legacy of the transatlantic slave trade. Albert Perry's ancestor, carrying the A00 lineage, was forcibly brought to the Americas. His ancient genetic heritage crossed the ocean with him. It survived through generations until it was revealed by a DNA test. This is a story of resilience and survival. The Cameroonian findings provide context for a 00, suggesting this region of Africa may have been a refuge for ancient human populations. A more complex past ancient human interbreeding. The existence of a lineage as old as a 00, diverging around 338,000 years ago, opens up intriguing possibilities. This time frame overlaps with the existence of other hominin species. Not just early Homo sapiens but also archaic humans. Could a zero zero be a sign of interbreeding between anatomically modern humans and more archaic forms? The idea of interbreeding between different human groups is not new. We know that modern humans migrating out of Africa interbred with Neanderthals and Denisovans in Asia. These encounters left traces in our DNA today. Most people of non-African descent carry some Neanderthal DNA. Some populations in Asia and Oceania carry Denisovan DNA. This shows that our ancestors were not always genetically isolated. There was mixing and gene flow. The A00 lineage raises the possibility of similar events much earlier within Africa. Perhaps an ancient lineage like A00 was passed into the Homo sapiens gene pool from an even more archaic group. The exact scenario is still debated but the presence of such a divergent line suggests a complex population structure. This complexity means our evolutionary history wasn't a simple straight line. Implications for human origins beyond a single out of Africa. The discovery of Albert Perry's A00 lineage has profound implications for our understanding of human origins. Modern humans evolved in Africa, then a small group migrated out around 60,000 to 70,000 years ago. This model has been incredibly useful but A00, along with other discoveries, suggests it needs refinement. The sheer antiquity of A00 points to a much deeper, more complex history within Africa itself. Before any migrations out of the continent, there were clearly distinct human populations. This challenges the idea of a single bottleneck for our species or a single point of origin. Instead, the cradle of humanity might have been the entire African continent. 
Albert Perry's journey led us to a deeper understanding of our shared human ancestry. His unique Y chromosome, the A00 lineage, is a cornerstone in human evolution. It pushed back the timeline of our common paternal ancestor, revealing unexpected human diversity within Africa, highlighting Africa as the wellspring of our species, a powerful legacy for one man and all humanity. The story of a zero zero is a testament to ongoing scientific discovery. New evidence challenges our assumptions. Perry's lineage shows many secrets hidden within our genomes, underscoring the interconnectedness of human history. We are all part of one vast, sprawling family tree,